Well, it's playoff hockey and it's quite simply the most important game of clan season. Last night's 3-1 defeat means that the Dundee Stars come into this one with a two-goal lead. Second leg quarter-final couldn't get any more important. Head coach of the Dundee Stars, Mark Lefebvre, will have been delighted with his team's performance last night, especially danger men Vinny Scarcella and Justin Farina. He'll be looking for more of the same from his roster, whereas head coach Ryan Finnerty will be looking for a big improvement. Both coaches will be after that all-important first goal to tilt the ice in their team's favour. Who will it go to? Who will be representing Scotland down at the Final Four weekend next Saturday? There's only one way to find out. Let's jump into the action. This is it, playoff hockey at its finest. A very loud Brayhead Arena tonight. Dundee Stars are in the building. 3-1 up from last night's first leg. For one of these teams, it's the end of the road as far as the 2016-17 campaign goes. For the other, it's a trip to Nottingham and a place in the semi-finals next week. But Dundee are the team in pole position. Their 3-1 win last night has put them in a terrific position. Clan, not to their usual standard, performed disappointingly last night. They'll look to redress that balance tonight. Look for a, maybe a, an early goal, just to put a seed of doubt in Dundee's minds, who knows? But they've got their Purple Army right behind them tonight. What a night of hockey this promises to be. Is Brannan cut out by Pitt on this middle side. Carlson sweeping it away. And looking to get on possession early, and it's Moore. Played along the board to number 20, Michael Lithammer, the scorer of Dundee's second goal in the first leg last night. Is Brewston. Baldwin working hard there at the boards, brings it away. Not the early pushes in there, Moore with the early shot. Tchaikovsky had to watch it carefully. Now it's back to Felix Poulin in the Dundee zone. Picked up by sides, it's onside. A low one and a good catch from Zykowski. Well, it's the third all Scottish affair, but now it's Lithammer. Looks up, sees White, blocked by Zykowski. And again, look to bring it out on the break, it's back up. Rosehill charging down this inside left. Just played beyond him. But has it back to Rosehill. Fallon with the block, just wide of the post. Fans really into this tonight, they really are. Kevin Hart for well Dundee. Back up. Right in front for Rosehill. Rosehill getting into a bit of a scrap. I didn't see who the Dundee player is that is taken down. But the referee's having to get in there. Not a good performance from Clan. The Dundee's de-nullified the Clan offensive lines was really quite something. Not many teams have done that this year. Hart. Becker. Cut out. Lithammer seems to bundle them to the ice again. Nothing from the referee. Occasion. Fans not happy with that one. White fired in. Zykowski makes the cover. Getting a bit feisty as well. Fan players swarm. The Dundee player in the middle of that there. I think it was Matt White. Getting a bit feisty in one or two occasions there. Just shows you the level of intensity we're at at this stage of the season. Dundee win the draw, Seskin. Former Clan D man, of course. Brustine is the man who plays it on. Tanaka tries to wrap around. Unsuccessful. Zakowski into the ground there. And again, bodies flying in there. Dundee looking for that advantage, Tanaka did well, picked it up quickly, tried the wraparound, Zykowski had to really rush himself across his crease to make the block.
Burst. Into the corner, chases after it. Fallon scoops it away with the stick. Pit. For Becker. Becker forced to go on the outside. As well, now Dundee on the break, three on two. Lithammer. Pit in there, doing his defensive duties. White. It's blocked by Quast. Defence reorganises. Lithammer tried the wrap around as he tumbled to the ice. Ends up just playing it across the crease. Becker tries to nick it beyond Joey Dickensalis, un unsuccessful on that occasion. Sides. Looks up. Going to try one, Brewstein. Dundee have the goal. That's a huge goal for the Dundee Stars. 8.06 left of the second period. Dundee have the opening goal in this game. Kevin Brewstein it was. In the middle, didn't quite see who finished it off either way. Zykowski is beaten, Dundee have a goal. Over here. Turns. Is it across? It's deflected wide. Sullivan in the chase. Instead ahead of Tanaka. Levitt. Levitt not able to feed it on. Tanaka. And it's sides. There it is. That must surely be the clincher for the Dundee Stars. It's Joy Sides. Excellent finish from Joey Sides, moving it into the clan zone, taking it round Zykowski and into the net. Stars 2, clan nil, it's 5-1 on aggregate. That must surely be it for clan's playoff hopes this season. The Dundee fans celebrate wildly in the corner, and rightly so. It looks as though they've got a trip to Nottingham to look forward to. Gun. Blocked off. Now the Stars have the opportunity. It's Tanaka. Sides again. Leaves one on for Kevin Hart. Dundee take a 3 0 lead. Sides playing the assist this time for Kevin Hart. Looked up, saw where he was going to place it, and he does so. The clan losing 3 0 on the night. The Dundee Stars going 6 1 ahead on aggregate, their night is getting better and better as Kevin Hart finds a net with his shot. Peacock. Again, he's denied, Fallon. Last line of defence, Levitt lays in. Baldwin. Levitt. Disappointment for him, of course. This is where his career ends here tonight at Brayhead Arena. On the back of a weekend to forget for him. Of course, he did score that amazing goal in Dundee last night. Wonderful solo effort. Now it's getting a bit tasty here. Jay Rosehill. Heavily involved, I think, is Brett Switzer. Very tasty now, two or three battles going on. Joe Fallon's in there. Kevin Brewstein and Alex Lever on this near side there, staying out of it. It's Craig Seskin. Now it's Cody Carlson getting involved with Kevin Hart. A couple of battles going on here. Interesting stuff here, there's going to be a few players taking a seat here. <laughs> to the last 10 seconds. Some fans have already made their way out of Brayhead Arena tonight. But those Dundee fans start celebrating, the buzzer is nigh for them. And there it is, the Dundee Stars celebrate. They are in the finals 
in Nottingham next weekend. It looks as though there's a semi-final tie with Cardiff Devils for them to look forward to, but it's all about tonight, all about the weekend, a 6-1 aggregate victory over the Brayhead clan. Another season ends in disappointment for Ryan Finnerty and his team. A career ends for Alex Levitt, not the way he wants to go out. Well, there'll be plenty to come on the back of this game, I'm sure. But congratulations to Dundee Stars. They are in the playoff finals next weekend. We'll get reaction from Jerry in just a minute. But from me, thank you for watching the Clan TV highlights throughout the season. We'll see you again next season. So Matt, obviously not the result you wanted tonight. What were the thoughts coming into this one and what do you feel was the difference in the end? You know, obviously we didn't play how, how we wanted to last night. And, um, Obviously, there was frustration last night on the bus coming home, and I think that we we felt like we didn't get going the way that we we wanted to, and that we talked about all week. And, and uh, you know, credit to them, they just they just smothered us and, and didn't give us an opportunity to get going. And um, there was no lack of confidence going into tonight. We, we had guys, just everybody was ready to go. And I thought for the first period, for sure, we you know we just needed to get a goal. Um, if we get a goal, then it, it probably changes things, you know, not necessarily us coming back, but it changes the game. And um, it took, you know, they got one in the second there. And, and uh, you know, three goals going into the third is not insurmountable, but it, it's tough, especially with the way that they were playing. And, uh, you know, like I said, credit to them. They, you know, they deserved the, the win for sure. And for you, is, is it too soon at this stage when, when it becomes the last game of the season there? Is it too soon to reflect on the season that's been so far? It's been lots of ups and downs as well this season, or do you give yourself a bit of time? No, I mean, I think the whole, <clears throat> for myself personally, the whole season's been, um, like you said, very up and down. And, and uh, you know, it's been, I, I think, maybe for myself, a little bit different than the first two years. And, and uh, um, yeah, it, it was tough. It, I, I didn't find that, you know, for myself, always expected more and, and uh, always, you know, wanted a little bit more than what I was was producing. And for whatever reason, it just it just didn't click for me. And I didn't I couldn't get it, get going on, you know, in, in stretches where, you know, it can change your season or, or, you know, get you going in the right direction. I felt like I just, you know, for whatever reason, it, I was you know looking back I guess overall you know I, I felt like I could have you know been better and and uh, you know that's the frustrating part but if there's one thing I know I can always say is that I came every single day and worked my hardest and it was never from a lack of effort it's just sometimes it's just the way it goes and, and uh, you need to come to the rink and you need to to put your best foot forward and you need to work your hardest because you know if I'm not doing it then you know, it, it's uh, it's an easy out for everybody else, and I felt like, you know, as, as frustrating it was as it was on ice, you know, at times um, for me personally, I think I'm you know proud of the way that I, I carried myself and, and worked right till the end, uh, but but on the ice, obviously a little bit frustrating. Thank you. Everyone appreciates that as well. Thanks very much, Matt. Thanks, Enjoy the summer. Cheers, Matt. So Ryan, obviously not the result you wanted there tonight. What do you feel was the difference tonight across the two across the two legs? I think we just couldn't handle their speed. I think their their speed killed us yesterday. They uh, they played very well and we, we, we played very bad, uh, put ourselves in a, in a hole and, you know, even though we played uh, for the most part, you know, until the third period, I thought we played okay hockey. You know, I thought we, we just we just couldn't get inside on them. Uh, their D did a great job keeping us outside and we just we just couldn't create any offense. Uh, we played a hundred times better defensively tonight, um, you know, getting out of our zone. but. You got to give Mark, Mark's guys a lot of credit. They blocked a lot of shots. You know, we didn't get any pucks through, um, and we just didn't execute it when, when we did have when we did have some chances. You know, and, and a lot of it was down to, to the way they played. They they did an incredible job. As you say, the word frustrating gets used a lot, but it really does uh, apply tonight, doesn't it? After that first period, things still looked quite good, but it was still a frustrating time, wasn't it? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it, it's. Uh, it's tough when things aren't going your way. They're just not going your way, and we, you know, we, 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 you know, we've never had problems scoring goals all year, and then come the playoffs, we, we can't seem to, to even get a shot through, and it, it's tough. It's the way sports goes, and in these two game aggregates, you know, one bad game can put you in a hole like it did, and it's um, it's tough. You know, I feel bad for the guys. I feel bad for for Alex Levitt. You know, we all want to get there, and 
and and obviously our fan base as well, you know, in, in Nottingham. But it's not meant to be. It's it's just these playoff things are, are, are they're, they're they're tough right now. So we got a, a room that's hurting right now, but you know, there's nothing we can do. And, and you got it. Like I said, you got to give Dundee a ton of credit. And they they played probably two of the best games they played all year, and you know, we couldn't match it. When you look at the season now, it's been quite an odd one. Lots of ups and downs this season. It, will you give yourself time to kind of look back and, and feel whether it's been a good or bad season for yourself? Or are you able to do that just now, or, or do you need the time? I think it was it was a tough season. I think you know of the four I've been here, it was by far the toughest you know I've, we've had. And um, it was a tough uh, tough year all around. I thought you know obviously at the start of the year it was it was uh, unimaginable how how bad we were in, in our start. And and then I think we we did a great job turning it around uh, in the second half. You know we incredible run in our conference obviously at a conference we we didn't we didn't compete which is which is rare for this team and it it wasn't a good year personally you know there's no denying it it wasn't a good year and it lands on my shoulders it's it wasn't a good year you know we we didn't um you know apart from winning the conference which is going to be tougher and tougher to win as as the league progresses here but um it wasn't a great year and it's it's on my shoulders and it, it sucks and you look back now and, you know, could have, should have, would have, you know, it was, uh, you know, every, everybody talks about should have done that and that. And, and the reality is you, you can't just change six players and you can't just find those guys. And we, um, you know, we did a good job sticking with our crew. And, and I thought we, we played some exciting hockey at times, offensive hockey, you know, defensively we, we, we were struggling. But it was a tough year. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't like the previous years where we, you know, we were competing and, and up in, in the race. And it's the first year, you know, first year in, in, in the, since the last two that we haven't been in the title race. And it's it's never easy when you slip back. It's a difficult one as well. You've obviously had a lot of players play really well and give their heart and soul for you over the last few years. And, and many of them are still in that dressing room now. The likes of Captain Keith and Barry McKenzie and Alex Levitt you mentioned there as well. Uh, do you talk to these guys straight away after the end of the season? Obviously Alex Levitt's retiring. Do you, do you have that kind of one-on-one -on -one time with them at the end of the season? Yeah, we usually kind of take it here uh, a couple of days to kind of let the, let the wounds heal. And then we, we have a one-on-one -on -one with every guy, uh, with myself. And just a debrief and, and go over it and you know and right now tensions and emotions are pretty high and mm -hmm. you know and that that's a pretty quiet room still right now and it, it's it's a tough feeling it, it, you can't explain it to to anyone who hasn't experienced it the the you know when, when the season's done it, it's uh it's very very tough but you know they're a good group of guys um they love playing in Brayhead. They love playing for the team. You know, they didn't. Uh, we didn't. They didn't get always get the result. But the individual behind, you know, inside the sweater, we're we're all good people, good guys, and you know, they cared. Um, this year is just one of those years. It didn't. It didn't go our way. It, it didn't get off to the right foot, and it just we just never got. We just never got settled, and that was something. In, in years past, we always we always kind of hit the ground running, and for whatever reason, this year it was. From day one, it just seemed like there was roadblocks, and it's not an excuse. It just that's just the way it felt. You know, I just felt like nothing really was going right. And in sports, that happens, and it's just I guess now it's how the organization rebounds. And you know, it's a great organization with uh, you know great leadership and great ownership. It, it you know it, every team is going to have an off year, and this is uh, this is definitely an off year for for this organization. And you know, it's how they respond now. And, you know, we're going to take our leckings now for sure. And, and you know, these fans have every right to, to be upset and, and, and they will. And, you know, uh, as a group, we've got to, got to respond and you got to grow and learn from it and, and come back stronger. Thank you very much, Ryan. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.